Hi yeah, friends. So today we'll discuss about why and how Adobe XD is better in terms of designing UIs for websites or apps as compared to Photoshop. So this video is just uh, in context of UI UX design, nothing else, because Photoshop off offers a lot of things that are used by photographers and illustrators uh, to design certain things or uh, tweak their photos and all those things. So we'll just discuss about how Adobe XD is better or uh, an enhanced version of a design tool for specifically designed for uh, UI work. So the first uh, major point that I uh, understood was how easily it can handle a lot of screens and a uh, lot of uh, artboards in just one document without even creating a very huge file as compared to Photoshop. So since Photoshop is a raster based uh, tool, uh, the size and the space on your desk uh, that Photoshop takes is much, much, much higher than what uh, Adobe XD files take. So uh, it's always better to use uh, Adobe XD in terms of creating any web uh, UI or app UI. Uh, the first point is the space. Uh, then uh, the second point that uh, is an amazing thing that came with Adobe XD was the ability to create components. So components are nothing but uh, reusable uh, UI elements that you can create once and use in all your artboards or in a different file altogether and they can have certain properties also like for example if you want to give a, a hover effect on a button then you can define how a button looks on a default state and how uh, it would look uh, on a hovered state and how it would act if we click on it so there are multiple options that photoshop does not offer yet okay then uh, the Third thing would be the prototyping option. So whenever we used to work on Photoshop or creating any websites and all those things, we always miss the option to create prototypes that would uh, actually, uh, what should we say, be interactive in such a way that uh, users can just uh, click on uh, a particular, basically to help the developers get a feel uh, and understanding of how the actual uh, thing is supposed to work, how this particular button is supposed to take me to what, what page actually and on click of this button if I'm scrolling to a certain section, what section that is. So instead of just uh, telling the developers in writing and all those things, a, a, an interactive prototype help, help them. Also to uh, like before starting the development for the stakeholders to take the decision if we are working on the same in the on the correct uh, design frame on the correct design prototypes. Uh, the interaction helps in understanding how the user's journey is going to happen. So that is one more option that uh, came as a very good thing in uh, Adobe XD. So prototyping is a it's an option that uh, uh, was a very good addition to this tool. So these things were already, the prototyping options were already available with different tools in the market if we talk about uh, Envision or uh, uh, any any prototyping tool would have an interaction based uh, prototyping thing available there. But uh, what Adobe XD did was was uh, while having a beautiful layout, beautiful UI design, you can also have a prototype. So that's that's like the final picture before starting the development. So uh, it helps the developers, it helps the stakeholders, it helps the decision makers. It's, uh, of the program or of the product to know if uh, the design that they are working on is act going to be the design that they have to actually work on or the product that they have to bring in the market actually. Then uh, one more thing that uh, I would say for Adobe XD would be uh, the, the effectiveness and the easiness of how easily uh, you can work on multiple screens in just one canvas. You can see how many screens are there. Uh, so this is just a reference thing because I have not I am not opening any uh, actual document because of copyright copyright issues. But this is just a reference design. So you can see how many artboards are there and how smooth it works. 
but uh, if you have worked on Photoshop and if you are a Photoshop user, you can see uh, if you open even half of these in your desktop or your laptop, it would crash uh, for sure. And even the file size of this thing would not be uh, even one tenth of what it would be in Photoshop because Photoshop is a raster based thing. Then uh, working on SVGs, right? So if you are familiar with SVGs, then SVGs are a very powerful UI element or design element, I would say. So SVGs uh, are basically the design things, but uh, which come with a code. So if you export anything from Photoshop, it's basically a raster image. So a raster image, uh, which is of the format PNG or JPG, so uh, or many more formats. But the idea behind raster is that it is not expandable. It is not editable uh, while coding or in the development phase. So to, to overcome that limitation, we have SVGs. So uh, Adobe XD, in Adobe XD, you can work on SVGs and you can uh, even export anything that you have created in Adobe XD as a SVG. So SVG is a scalable vector graphics. So that is basically, uh, I can just export a SVG in let's say whatever size, 20, 20, 20 into 20 pixel size. But uh, while creating, if, if in case the same uh, uh, icon or same image is required uh, in let's say 2000 into 2000 and also in a different color, then SVG gives the power to the developers to just directly do that in the code itself, right? So, uh, which which was a very big limitation in Photoshop. And since we are just exporting a very small uh, file as an SVG, which, which is a very small lines of like few lines of code uh, as compared to the raster file uh, that Photoshop used to export, the file, the, the speed that your web page will load while calling these uh, assets, right? So the speed that your page would load would be much faster if you are using SVGs. So lately, most of the uh, development agencies or companies would be asking for SVG assets only, okay? Because uh, those are really good, useful and reusable also because uh, for let's say for any one website, if you're using a button with an icon and the icon is supposed to be of let's say red color, but the same icon can be used in a different website where the primary theme color of that particular program or project is let's say blue so the developer can just directly modify the color from the code itself instead of coming back to the designers and asking the same thing from, from them so that's a very good thing to have uh, so basically the idea behind uh, this comparison video was to give you an idea of why people have switched from photoshop to adobe xd or uh, now even Figma, uh, we'll talk about Figma also later in a different video, but Adobe XD and Figma are quite similar, but Figma I think is a more advanced version of Adobe XD. And because of which Adobe XD I think uh, has uh, had to actually has bought uh, Figma also because Figma was like taking over the market very fast and very, uh, in a very good pace so that is the reason that uh, now adobe owns the majority portion of prototyping uh, in the world so uh, still uh, if you are familiar with adobe xd you can start with adobe, adobe xd and adobe xd itself is a very powerful tool very easy to use very smooth on normal machines as compared to photoshop photoshop requires a lot of graphics and all those things and even then also it is not necessary that uh, if you're working on heavy projects like where you have a number of canvases a number of files then photoshop would run smooth that is very difficult for photoshop to handle so basically photoshop is for uh, right now i think uh, majorly it is used for editing photos and creating some normal banners that involve photo photographs and all those things because even for illustrations and all those things we have adobe illustrator so that is much better than photoshop if you're just working on illustrations so uh, compositing and all those things can be done in photoshop but uh, if you are looking forward to a career in ui ux design then uh, definitely adobe xd is one of the tools that you have to look after and uh, maybe have figma also in your bucket
so uh, i think the video has already gone very long so maybe we can discuss more about uh, design in our upcoming videos so if you have any questions or any concerns regarding your design career or ui ux design related questions you can comment uh, below or you can send me a message uh, i'll definitely try to make a video and get back to you thank you if you like uh, the video just uh, hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell button also thank you thank you so much for watching